fact that the games come quick and fast. Crawley here at Hewish Park on, on Tuesday. What are your thoughts coming into the match? Players have had to make sure we recover really well. I think uh, it's been non-stop rain at the moment, so hopefully the, the pitch will be playable. Players have been very, very happy with their performance on Saturday. Uh, we've done a review session, it went very well. We uh, had a lot of opportunities in that game and uh, we're looking to make sure that we create the, the same positive energy shown on Tuesday. When you're on a run that you're on, obviously six unbeaten in, in League Two, is it quite nice to have games come thick and fast? It is. I think it's important that the group can carry their momentum, league form. Um, certainly for the targets and pushing for the playoffs, it gives us another opportunity to be able to make sure we achieve those targets. And the players are in, in real good spirit, so I can't wish for, for anything more at the moment. You obviously talked about playing a Colchester side that hadn't won in a while on Saturday, and it's a, a similar story with Crawley. Do you expect another a tough match, a team looking to pick up a first win in a while? I watched their game against Mansfield. I thought they started the first 10 minutes really well. Uh, they've been a little bit unfortunate with some of the goals that they've conceded. But Dermot will make sure that he'll get his team ready uh, for this game on Tuesday. And I think every game you could see that on Saturday, even Colchester with the position that they're in, they give everything that they got because of what's at stake at League Two now. And uh, every three points is massive. How are you looking in terms of the players available for selection for you? Yeah, the players are looking <laughs> strong, as you can imagine. Not everyone wants to play. There's no one that's not wanting to come into this building at the moment and work very hard to make this football club successful. And I think that's all you can ask for as a manager. Matty Dolan obviously came off before half-time. Is he someone that you'll have to wait closer to the time to know whether he can play or not? He's being assessed as we speak now uh, by the doctor, which uh, hopefully she'll bring me the good news. He's... Uh, He's not struggling too much, um, but we'll have to wait and see. You've been speaking for the last few games about the fact that three points could see you get up into those playoffs, obviously kept out by goal difference at the moment. How nice would it be come late tomorrow evening to look at it and, and see Yeovil in the top seven? It would be a great achievement for the players because uh, they're the ones that have taken ownership and responsibility uh, and they've shown that never... Uh, say die attitude and they, and they don't give up and uh, there's nothing that I don't feel that this group at the moment can achieve having said that that can change within one game uh, one week two weeks it, it can change around quickly so we've just got to make sure we stay humble stay hard working and uh, remain positive it's your birthday today but would be the best present for you be tomorrow evening and, and three points here Definitely, I think it's uh, so important that we keep this winning habit going because um, I don't know how many games it is at home now, but our home form has been terrific and uh, we want to make sure we keep that going.